Okay, so the very last thing that we're gonna do on this dress is we're gonna hem it. So we're going to lay the skirt so it's face up. Okay, right now we're just gonna stitch down the facing. So we're gonna fold the facing over. So do you see where this notch is right here? That notch right there is where you're gonna actually fold to or fold on that notch. So we're folding that so it's now face to face. Okay, and now we're gonna sew a one inch hem, one inch. So I'm lining that raw edge right there up with the one inch mark and I'm gonna do a little back tack. Lay that flat and I'm gonna sew one inch all the way to the edge of the, um, of the facing, okay, and back tack. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna do that on the other side. So I'm gonna to go to the other end of the skirt. There's my hem. This is my facing. I'm gonna fold it again, there's the notch. So I'm gonna fold on the notch. So the notch is right on the fold. And I'm gonna sew a one inch hem or seam. Back tack, go all the way across and back tack. Okay, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna go to the sewing machine or the iron and we're gonna do some pressing. So we just needed those two ends to be folded like this and I'll show you what we're gonna do with the iron. All right, so remember we folded this and stitched. So now we're gonna turn this right side up. So I'm just gonna fold this over and turn it right side up. So it looks just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that on the other side. Turn it and fold it right side up. Make sure that that little corner comes out in a nice sharp point. Okay, so it looks just like that. Okay, so now notice that once I turn that seam right side up where that facing is, your hem is folded up. It automatically folds up with the rest and it'll fold up an inch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this twice. First, we're gonna press one inch, okay? So make sure that it stays an inch, that it doesn't get smaller or bigger. Also, it's really important that this seam right here at the side seam is lined up with the side seam underneath. You don't want it over like this because then your hem's gonna twist. So you wanna keep that like that. Also, notice here, do you see how you have a few little tucks? Okay, don't worry about that right now because we're gonna, um, when we fold that under, we're gonna end up folding this raw edge under again like this to have a one in, or a half inch clean finish hem and those folds are gonna go away. So let's just keep on going. Okay, you wanna keep staying at your half inch or your one inch. Okay, so again, do you see I'm just kinda Kind of pressing that down. Okay, there's a few, like this little point right here. Do you see how that made that a little point? Because it's a big, kind of big there. I'm just going to kind of go over that again and just kind of get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. You do this all the way around. Okay, again, I want to fold that up an inch and make that 
even. Okay, there's my other end. So I'm gonna make that flat. Okay. okay. I'm just kind of making this a little bit better. It was a little bit too wide. Okay, so now that I have it folded up and pressed one inch all the way around. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go back. <clears throat> and then underneath here, do you see how that's sticking up an inch? So I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to fold this under just this piece here. I'm just folding that under a half inch. So do you see how I folded it under a little bit here? And then when I close it, it's clean. Do you see? So now there's my half inch. And all I did was there's my crease. I just fold that in half and then fold it back up again. Okay, and you notice that when there was those wrinkles, now they're gone, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go finish all the way around. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just folding that up in half and then folding it back over. That's all I'm doing. Okay, just folding it under. Okay, folding that in half and then just press it down. Okay, when we get to this other end again, remember we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to fold it underneath inside, not all the way, just enough so that it's clean when it's closed. Just like that. Okay, so I'm just folding that under and then back over. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we're going to uh, sew it. So. All right, so now we're going to stitch this down. So we're going to start on the edge here, even though this is already clean. We're just going to start on the edge. Okay, it's a half inch seam. So we're going to back tack. Okay, and then we're just going to keep on going. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing an edge stitch right here. Okay, again, also notice that this seam is lined up with this seam. If it's not lined up, it means that your hem is going to be very twisted, and you don't want it to look like that. Almost done. Okay, we're getting to the other end. So now what we're going to do is just go straight across and then back tack. Okay, so now your dress is finished. You want to 
trim all your threads. You want a nice clean inside and outside. So you want everything nice and pretty. Okay, and this is all clean and finished. It's not coming apart. I'm gonna put this on the dress form and we can see what this dress looks like. Finished. Okay, look how pretty that came out. Okay, yours is gonna come out even better. Well, it'll come out even better because you're gonna have one sleeve or the other. You're gonna have either your cuff sleeves or your puff. You're not gonna have a cuff and a puff because that looks a little silly. But, but otherwise, look how pretty that came out. And here's your, your pockets right here. Okay, your hem. It's nice and even. It's all clean. Okay, beautiful. So there is your final dress.